Hello guys, this is the one person force club. Welcome to the video. This is the twin turbo strategy, but today I am showing you another aspect of trading. So here I am taking some sell entries from this level. And I'm just taking sell entries. So what's happening here? So this is the one minute chart used to switch frame as like my previous video the setting the same setup that is the twin tower setup but I just disappear the force index so here you see the price top to oscillator top that is the force index making divergence so here a uh, bearish divergence happening and it is a regular various divergence so the cell signals taking place here when a divergence happened to the bottom side of candle that is a buy signal and and when you see a divergence happening to the price top uh, that indicates sell entries so that's why as you see divergence happened from the price top and the force index top so I decide to take sell entries from USD Swiss franc and this is a 500 US dollar account and I want to flip it and right at this moment I am risking hundred dollar so Everything looks good. I'm just adding some more sell entries. I don't fear on this session and uh, situation because I know price should coming down. And from my twin tower strategy, it is the perfect strategy to scalp every chart. And as you know, trading has many aspects, and the twin tower strategy is a fully loaded strategy. It can be used on any pairs, any full session. You just have to apply the knowledge I'm sharing in this channel. So you must see the result. So from this zoom, I'm taking salaries and price now heading down. So the setup is all the same. That is the twin tower strategy. I have taken uh, 20 EMA and that is blue color and uh, that is violet color and I have taken 200 EMA on the main chart that is blue color and on the second window I have taken I would say seven and the seven line just disappeared with the color or background black because we don't need the seven hours line but on the same hours window we have taken force index that is the by default setup this is M5, zoom level 0, and 13 period force index taken, and price swing, and one person can predict every price swing, because one person traders analyze the market, for every swing where to where the swing can be go we just analyze as you see prices now come down after making divergence and and here here if the price making this divergence then price should going upward so we just want to see this divergence happening here. 
So this can be happen as you see. First, it is making a lower low, the price making lower high. So price now can be going upward, small upward. And so it is better to take some profit from this level. And also, you know, when there is double bottom or double top, price going double top to downside and double bottom to upside. So as a symbol, double bottom. So I'm just booking some profit because price is now making upturn. So I've taken all the profits, not all the profits, some 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 entries is still uh, on green. So let's see what's happening here. So to disappear envelope from the Quinto uh, uh, in this video I'm just uh, showing you how to take entries and exits from the divergence theorem and for my biggest theory um, price action video you must see how to detect the so now have a look on this session here no divergence happens because price making low low and the first end is also making low low so no divergence on the bottom of price So there is no divergence, so we can expect to see price coming much down. Uh, after some times here, we see price coming down to so low low and divergence. First thing is also making low low, so no divergence happen. So still we expect, expect to see the price coming much down from this level, but we can't add um, more sell entries because we always take entries from 200 EMA and 20 EMA if uh, current price near to this this to moving average that would be a better entry so you just have to wait to see price uh, near to the 220 EMA then you can take entries or you can add entries so here low low on price main chart and first thing that's also making low low on the same peak level so no divergence happen so now let's see some uh, tutorial about divergence so here this is a price swing and this is the first index swing as a divergence oscillator you can take first index you can take RSI you can take also oscillator and some other indicators which can show you divergence so price making higher high and for is making higher lows so so there is a divergence so price top and also to top divergence indicate the sell entries and price bottom and also to bottom divergence means the buy entries so here again price making higher high and first thing is making high lows so selling entries that is the price top divergence and here if you're adding the bottom line uh, 
that is the price bottom divergence with this oscillator and price making bottom side to different direction that is the price bottom divergence that indicates the buy signal So as I told, when price uh, reach near the take entry, so um, price is making uh, near to the twenty and two hundred. So I'm just adding some sell entries, some more sell entries here. So I'm just adding sell entries here. This I see price. Uh, reaching at 20 and 200. So price can go up. To go up the price, price need to make a divergence at bottom part. So let's analyze this. This is the price bottom and the force in this bottom. There is no divergence because price bottom making low low and divergence uh, no divergence happened because force is also making the volume. So there's no, no divergence. So, so still we can expect price moving down. So how to identify the divergence? Have a look on this chart price direction and oscillator direction. When price and oscillator making two different direction, that indicates the divergence. So price and force in this direction, if there is a difference, there if they are different, if price is downing and oscillator. So now there is four kind of divergence. So number one, regular bullish divergence. Number two, regular bearish divergence. And then hidden bullish divergence. And finally, the hidden bearish divergence. So you have to identify the divergence. Regular divergence means a reversal, and the hidden divergence indicates the price continuation that indicates the trending market continuation of a trend. That is the hidden divergence. So, price is now hitting upward against our prediction. Well, this is a critical moment, right? At this moment, because as it's getting up for our entry levels. Okay, let's see how much it can go. And here we see a divergence from price top that indicates the sell momentum is still the sell momentum. And divergence from the price bottom is the buy entries. You just need to know these two things. Well, I'm adding some more sell entries because price top divergence happening here and still we are in sell selling momentum. So if you look back on the previous chart, you can see some other here you see price bottom divergence with the current price and the, with the price and the oscillator that is the push index and price bottom divergence indicates the buyer signals and that is the real regular bullish divergence. In the meantime, price going against our entries. So huge floating loss 
that is still I am still I am holding the thread because I am expecting here another divergence going to be happening. Let's see if price. So the current price. I have to keep eyes on the current price. Yeah, here is a high low, and first thing is making lower high. Not yet the uh, let us pick clear. We just need to see a clear pick on the current price. If you see the pick making here, then we can assume the divergence rules here. Uh, so I have to wait. Well, I'm talking about divergence. So So on the main chart, we got some swing, small swing here. So I'm just adding some more sell trades because divergence happened. It is a clear sign of divergence because the price stopped making down direction and the first thing is making up direction. So two different directions. On price top indicates sell, selling momentum. So from this level, I'm expecting price should come much more down. So I've taken, I've added some sell entries here, and now you see, price is now absolutely coming down. So that's the key ideas on using divergence and divergence very very effective parameters during trading so price coming near to our first Trace and you have to keep eyes on new price pick direction and the first index pick direction that will allow you to understand the current divergence situation on the market. So to disappear envelope from Twin Tower, you just have to uh, make the color of envelope setup uh, as like as your background color. So I just uh, make it uh, orange to black. So the envelope is now disappear on the horizon window. So here you see price bottom and uh, price bottom and the first index bottom making same direction so no divergence happen so price will naturally coming down so you just have to keep eyes on the on the on the swing peak swing peak to swing peak and uh, oscillator peak to oscillator peak to identify the divergence here you see the divergence that is a selling divergence that is a bearish divergence and i'm expecting to see price come down 
And after some moments, price is now heading down towards the direction we predict. That is the. And right at this moment, you see if your price making upswing, then swing make a price bottom divergence that will indicate the buy interest. So we are waiting to book our profit from this situation. And still, the latest price swing is not clear. But if it happened in the price uh, direction. Bottom direction and the first index bottom direction to a different direction, then price can be being much up for buy entries. So I'm booking some profits. I want to see five hundred to thousand dollars. So I'm taking profits. As you see, price now reaching to the level that can make a buy divergence. So I'm just booking all the profits. And as you see, the latest price coming, the latest price breaking the previous price swing, and it's heading down. So here, two different direction of divergence uh, happening because price going down, and uh, and the first index making up direction from the bottom part. So here divergence happening from the price bottom, so buy signal indicates here. So that's why I have taken all the profits and now thousand and ninety five dollar. That's the way the one person traders take their entries and exits. So keep plotting and practice. Don't blame any strategies.